I'll talk about the animated ones, and I'll talk about a couple of the live action ones. Um, so the animated shorts. Uh, there's one called Possessions, which was really fascinating. Um, it was sort of built like a Japanese anime, but it was cell shaded 3D models. So it had a lot of – it was very dynamic. It was really interesting. Basically about this guy who – he's like a fix-it man. He carries around all his tools on his back and he uh, he gets to this uh, cabin and it's like there's warnings that the cabin's haunted. And he gets into the cabin and like a demon attempts to possess him and it's like this – you know, it's it's sort of standard sort of horror movie stuff where it's like all this sort of, you know, broken things and like scary things and like all this stuff. And what he does, it's all these objects that are half broken. And so he's a fix it man. So he just fixes everything. So it's like all these umbrellas are in the way. And so he just fixes them all. And the demon's happy. And then the next one, I can't, it's like a, a wallpaper thing, like all the wallpaper shooting out at him and like flying around. And he like just grabs the wallpaper and he's like, wow, this is actually really good quality. And he like fixes it and then repapers all the walls. <laughs> it's, it's really cute. I really like that one a lot. Um, there's another one called Room on the Broom, which um, I don't really get this one. It's clearly designed for children. It's, um, it's sort of interesting. It's it's clearly built off of like a, a children's book or something. It's about this witch who um, is flying around on her broom and keeps having to land and different animals are like, hey, please help me, help me and all that stuff. Um, but it, the problem is – the problem I had with it was there's like some really well-known actors in this. So Gillian Anderson is in this and Rob Brydon is in this who – not hugely famous to American audiences, but he's pretty well known in Britain. And Simon Pegg. So Simon Pegg narrates it. All the other voice actors have like two lines. Hmm. It's like, why did you get Gillian Anderson and Rob Brydon to be like, <laughs> like that's 90% of their lines, just like vocalizations of feelings. And So they can get nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Recognizable names. Yeah, it was, I didn't think it was very good. Um, there's a really great one called Mr. Hugh Blot. Which is genius. Everyone should go watch this one. Um, it's, it's sort of like a steampunk mechanical sort of world. The guy is clearly some kind of robotic guy. Um, and he sees a, a, a mechanical dog living across the street like in a box, like, you know, a uh, homeless dog. And so he has a lot of trouble leaving his house, but he um, he eventually – he sees the dog is like – his box is getting thrown into the trash and he's worried about the dog. So he goes and gets the dog. And it's about how like the guy loves his dog and all this stuff. And the dog, what's funny is like it's it's clearly a mechanical dog. It is made out of, you know, machined parts, but it grows. <laughs> mm. So eventually it gets too big for the house and he has to deal with this. And it does a great sort of thing where, you know, you think it's gonna do one thing and something else happens. It was really good, a great uh, kind of metaphor for pet ownership. I could see that one uh, winning. There's another one here called Get a Horse, which if you saw Frozen, it was at the front of Frozen. Um, it's a Disney short, but it starts out as sort of an old school like Mickey Mouse, like Steamboat Willie era mm -hmm. cartoon. Um, and apparently it's actually Walt Disney's voice as Mickey Mouse in this in this cartoon. But what happens is about five, about a minute in, it turns into 3D animation and Mickey Mouse actually jumps out of the screen and then he's running around and it, it really plays with like the screen space and how the theater works and Mickey Mouse is jumping out and running around. And okay, so it's not Rose terrifying. Kind of, it's not terrifying. Okay. I think it's it's very cute not and terrifying. very playful. Okay. Um, I find that might be might be terrifying. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of uh, Sherlock Jr., mm -hmm. that scene in Sherlock yeah, Jr. Yeah. where it's, he keep the scene keeps switching. It's it's really cute. I don't know if it'll win, um, but it's it, it could win just because it's 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 really cute. That's about the best I can say and about also, it. And also those those ones that are on front of bigger animated films tend to get seen by a lot more yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. So the, I mean. Exactly. Just from your descriptions, I would bet my money on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. popular yeah. films that have yeah. been nominated with also the, for With Oscars. the D word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and there's one called Feral, which has it's, – it's got like an interesting animation style. It's about a little boy who um, – who has been living in the woods and he's feral and a hunter finds him and takes care of him. And it's 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 kind of an interesting story. I, it's it's a really beautiful animation style, but I don't think it's going to it's going to win. Um, a couple of the live action shorts. I'm not really going to talk much about these. There's only one that I really loved. I only watched three of them. Um, there's one called Helium, which I think is one that people should see. 
basically um, an orderly at a hospital uh, meets a very sick child and the sick child has all these like Zeppelin toys around him. So they're talking about Zeppelins and airships and that's – they sort of bond over that and then the little kid's literally about, you know, maybe has a month to live. So the orderly starts telling him about you know this made up world called helium, where everything is great, and that's where you go when when you die. And you know here I'm going to put this symbol right here, where you know you can um, uh, the 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 guy in the airship will come and pick you up and know exactly where to get you. And um, it turns out the kid gets moved to a different ward because it's it, he has a more serious condition, and the orderly can't get access to him anymore. Uh, so the orderly sort of it, it's about the orderly sort of going to these lengths to make sure he can tell the kid the rest of this story and make him feel good. Very sweet film. Very nice film. I liked that one a lot. Um, but that's all the shorts that I really saw. I didn't see any of the documentary shorts. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I would say if – from what I saw, Helium for live action and Mr. Hublot for uh, animated shorts would be my picks. So, A Place for Film is recorded at WFIU Studios in Bloomington, Indiana.